The work was really like a collaboration with Cecilia Alemani, the curator. And of course, the, the subject of the wall exhibition is, um, you know, the one that she came up with, the Latte dei Sogni, starting from the work of great feminist author. Um, but I guess, of course, when you work on a, such an expensive exhibition design, a lot of the work is actually thinking of the layout. Not really maybe here at the Giardini, where the central pavilion has an historical structure, but rather the arsenale, which is ex extremely, extremely extensive. And we are really thinking more also about the experience of the visitors, combining it also, of course, with the curatorial vision of the Chile. But I think something that is brilliant about this year, uh, Biennale, is this idea of the um, uh, five historical capsules, which are essentially five spaces, uh, uh, three here and two at the Arsenale, that uh, helps the visitor in understanding from an historical perspective what is happening all around the, the space. So here at the Giardini, there is a capsule dedicated to uh, art related to writing, surrealist art, and um, uh, after and not how to say that in English. Um, while at the uh, Arsenale, there is a capsule dedicated to the vessel and one dedicated to the cyborg. And of course, we had these five different subjects to be explored also on, on a material level. We wanted to make sure that visitors could understand when you were entering in, in these specific spaces that you were coming in a different environment. Um, and the kind of installation probably in these spaces is more similar to the one you could find possibly in a museum on, on a permanent installation more than a temporary exhibition. The material is much more braided and uh, on also on a chromatic level we identify different tones of colors which visually of course helps the visitor in understanding you're entering a different environment. And of course there has been also reflections with Cecilia regarding the historical and the meanings of these artworks and thinking about how to expose them. Then of course there, there is like one of the technicalities, you know, like uh, Biennale is one of the most uh, seen exhibition ever. So you, of course you need to think about fluxes and people coming in and coming out. So I, I have to say at the beginning, since the beginning we worked very closely to her to really understand the kind of lineup of work and the kind of like walk, walk, walking through people could have done like in, in this space. And that was, was actually one of the major points since the beginning. And uh, of course, then there was a historical part that came like more at a later stage. But uh, overall, uh, you know, we had a lot of freedom uh, and to just, you know, to propose uh, ideas and to uh, work uh, with amazing writer and also, you know, very great bunch of artists. In the capsules, we have been in solution and collaboration with Quadra, which with whom we have worked already also for. Uh, previous exhibitions, one of these it was at the, at the Rijks Museum in Amsterdam on Caravaggio and Bernini. And so we continue this collaboration. And you know, the, the main idea at the end of the day was also quite simple. You know, if you, you know, the extensiveness of a show like this is more similar to a fair than an art exhibition. But of course, the, the first thing you want to avoid is the feeling of the So we really try to give a more custom made intervention, especially in the, in the in the historical capsules. And the kind of choice came really by reflecting either the content of the work or how historically they were presented. So for instance, in the surrealist capsules, we went for a setup which is reminding, reminiscent of a, a salon, the old ways of presenting paintings. With the cyborg instead, we we work uh, with the building of a huge um, light box which is creating this very cold uh, lighting in the space uh, which is uh, fitting the thematic of the of the capsules which is dedicated on the uh, juxtaposition of the machine and their organic body of humans so we of course there is a way of reflecting uh, in the exhibition on the content of the work but we also try to take quite simple decision uh, but extremely effective. We wanted to make sure that people could understand immediately, or at least what we think is immediately, the kind of different perspectives in different capsules. The first time that the, in the Bayania, you have this kind of intervention. Generally, you have one uniform gesture. And here we have the chance to think about the overall layout. And then these five uh, micro exhibitions. Essentially, it's almost as if we created designers operated um, 
uh, six exhibition, a general one, and five smaller ones within it. We were really hoping for that, the clarity, because uh, at the end of the day, the show is so big. You need some guidance. Also, it's not only the show, you know, then we have like all this satellite exhibition around the major one. So, and sometimes it also has a visitors because we, we are coming every year, both from architecture and Biennale, uh, Art Biennale, and you have all this time this feeling of being lost in the moment, or not being able to really understand where you are. And I think the great thing is also to Chile did is really to make this like statement, historical statement that could really contextualize the world nowadays. So I think it was a very smart decision. And, uh, also a good one in terms of like uh, for, for visitors. Also, you know, the, the Biennale is not a place where there are only like uh, people that come from the art sector comes. There are, it's like for everybody, for, for citizens. citizens. So. I think it makes a very good uh, understanding. I don't know so much about the